Hello everybody, this is Patrick from the Arizona Video Company and I uh, wanted to let you know that uh, I was recently looking for another wireless keyboard. I have um, a kind of a, a smaller one that I've been working with and it's, and it's been a, a really good unit for a while but then more recently uh, some of the keys are getting stuck and so I'm typing along and if I, it, I land on a letter and it will somehow lock onto that and just keep printing out a bunch of those letters over and over and, and sometimes I can't get it to stop and I don't know if there's a signal problem or what exactly is the issue but um, that and sometimes in my studio it can be kind of it's a little bit darker and I can't see the keys as well so I wanted to get something that a keyboard that had backlit keys and so I of course went on to Amazon and I found um, this guy here the uh, Logitech uh, K800 Illuminated and um, it was a little, it's a little bit more expensive than what I wanted to spend, but I think I went cheap last time, and so I wanted to avoid any problems there. So this one had a ton of great reviews, and so I thought I'd give it a shot. And um, we're going to unbox this puppy, take a look at it, and then I'm going to probably break this video down into two parts and kind of play with it for a couple of days, make sure everything's good, and then give you my final thoughts on it. And so there you go. All right, uh, I'll show you what my old keyboard looks like. It's uh, one without the uh, 10, the, you know, the numbers off to the side and whatnot. And so for me, it was fine. It's a keyboard thing and it, uh, it has been a, it had been a champ until recently. And so this is a verbatim um, keyboard. And so let's bring out the new one. Here is the box. And uh, again, Logitech K800 and all the other things on there. Let's open her up. I don't mess around, just whip out a knife and get it going here. Gotta love those boxes. Um, this is uh, quite, <laughs> quite a bit larger. Compared to my other one, you can kind of see there. This one does have the 10, 10 number keypad. Something else too that's a little bit different, this one comes with a charger. Um, actually, right here, it looks like the charger here instead of batteries, which is what my old one did. And um, there you go. Kind of an interesting uh, situation here. Here's some keys, looks like, to be able to set it up so it sits up taller. You can see from the side here. And so that, um, that looks like will be fine there. It's got a little on button up here. But anyway, I'll try to get this as close as I can so you can see it. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like there. Try and get it even a little bit closer. All right, and um, -da -da. it's probably pretty straightforward, probably a pretty straightforward plug-and-play situation. Both of them up there, there. Keys feel like they're in a good, good place, good situation there. All right, inside the rest of the box, inside the rest of the box, looks like we have the um, you know, the wireless uh, USB port plug-in there. Of course, the instructions, who reads those? People just go to YouTube to watch the videos instead of reading instructions. Looks like we've got the charger. Actually, it looks like we have a couple of different things there. Let's set this off to the side. Looks like we've got what? This is where you without, without your knife. Here, oh, let's see here. Okay, this looks like the USB charger. This looks like another. Looks like another arrangement here. Anyway, we'll get that figured out, but 
Um, one it looks like is for charging. Maybe maybe this maybe one of them is an extension. And so, so according to the instructions here on the recharging part of it, typically you can expect about 10 days of battery life before you will need to recharge the keyboard battery. If the backlighting level is set to 100%, you have about 15 hours of battery life. To recharge the keyboard, connect it to your computer using the USB charging cable. A full battery charge uh, takes about five hours and only three hours if the keyboard has been switched off. So there you go. And we'll, uh, of course, put that to the test. I've, I've seen, I've read in the reviews that the uh, recharging, or that the battery life has been um, really quite good. People have had this running for months. And so it also sounds like that the uh, illuminated keys do not stay on all the time. They kind of go dim. But once your hands get close and stuff, they uh, it lights back up. So there you go. We will actually give this a shot, and I will get back with you after I use it for a while. Okay, so I've been using the Logitech K800 wireless illuminated keyboard now for about two weeks, and I can tell you what I like and don't like about it. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I've got a free plug-in for you. So first, what I don't like. Because it's a full-size keyboard and has the 10 keypad functionality over here, the, the, it doesn't sit right in front of me. It has to be positioned a little off center to the right so that the keys will be right in front of me and I can type. It's not a big deal, but it is what it is. Now here's what I like about it. Now first, the layout and the feel of the keys. They feel solid, easy keyboard to type on, nothing rattles. Second is the backlight feature itself. The, the lights come on when I need them to, they go off when I don't need them, and I can very easily see the keys. Next, um, the battery life on here. Battery life is very good. It lasts weeks and if not months, depending upon how you use it. Comes with a rechargeable USB plug in here and there's a little battery life indicator at the top. Finally, it is a Logitech product and I've had great experience with Logitech products, the other ones that I own and stuff. So I give the K800 two thumbs up, but what about you? What are your thoughts or questions about this keyboard? Let us all know in the comments below. And if you like this video, I hope you'll give it your own thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for other product reviews or any other projects that we have coming down the road. All right, now, how about that free plugin I promised? Below this video, you'll see a link to get your own copy of Jack Jacker. It is a very cool WordPress plugin that lets you put your own banner on top of popular websites or blogs or articles. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you again soon.